What's up everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna work on my 92 Ford Ranger. And I gotta take out the fan and the radiator. I got a strip bolt down in my tension pulley. So I gotta get that out of here so I can get a new one put on. That way I can finally have a truck. I've not had a truck almost all year. I've been having guys that help me kind of lug me around. Uh, first thing I gotta do is uh, get the hose off of the radiator so we can uh, start taking this thing out of here. Just gonna set that back there. Alright, now to get the bolts. These small bolts holding the radiator on here, they are uh, 10 millimeters. So in this case you get angry searching through all your tools trying to find the right size. It's an eight millimeter. If I can actually go the right way. Disconnect your line right here too. Not sure how many bolts are in this. Okay, so we ran into a problem. These things are rusted like hell because you know this is a '92, and I'm these are from the factory. I guarantee it. So they're rusted on there good. I put some uh, good old PB blaster on her, and it ain't helping. So now I got my cutting tool. I'm cutting on the straight part of the line down here, so I can get a compression fitting on there. And uh, when I put the radiator back in, I'm running compression fitting on it and uh, get it hooked back up to that part of the line like you do brake lines and stuff and hopefully i ain't got to do the same for that bottom line either but i guess we'll see but anyway that's what i'm working on now i'm gonna finish cutting this line and uh hopefully we can get that bottom one without me having to cut it so i can uh, get this radiator out of here all right, so I finally got this piece out of there. Looks like someone's put some threading on it at one point in time to, like, keep it from leaking a little or something. I don't know. There's a lot of crap on this thing. <clears throat> but that's out. We cut the line right there. This is a one-family Ranger. My wife's grandfather bought it new in 92. Then her dad drove it for a long time, and I got it from him. I've had it about four years or so something like that now it's been sitting the last i don't know i want to say at least two and a half uh, because of small things i've had it running here and there i've replaced a lot of stuff in here water pump uh, all the plugs and <clears throat> distributors and everything else so i love these rangers though they are troopers this is just minor stuff that i got to stay on top of with it hopefully I can get this bolt out down here and get that tensioner pulley out, put a new one in, and have this truck back on the road. I need a truck bad so I can start making some money. Okay, so I'm underneath the truck now. I'm going to undo this line so I can pop the radiator out without cutting this line. I had to cut that top one up there 
on. I'm kind of see how I can even show y'all. I guess I can't from under here where I'm at right now. But um, the way these lines run up, they run up to the radiator. I had to cut one of them because I couldn't get it loose and the bolt loose. They were corroded on here. As you can see, I got uh, quite a bit of surface rust showing up under here. But I got to. I'm gonna disconnect this, and I should be able to finally pull my radiator out without cutting this other line. Okay, now I can show you up here from the top. This bottom line right here. Then my. They ain't coming loose. Those things are definitely corroded together had squirrels in here with their nuts everywhere <laughs> but as soon as i get that disconnected down there i'm gonna pull this radiator out finally i definitely had to do a little more than i expected but that's what happens when things sit and aren't taken care of over the years so if you ever have a uh hose that's ever giving you a problem getting off just take a pair of uh pliers and wrap around it and just slowly start jimmying it off of there that way you cannot rip a hole in your in your line and stuff and get it off so don't be doing like screwdrivers and stuff like that tearing your line all to hell just take a pair of pliers and Sometimes it'll take some time, but just work it off with the pliers. It's the best way to do it without damaging your hose. Finally got a transmission line undone. So I'm going to put some more fluid in that. So now I'm going to try and yank this thing out of here without breaking my line while pulling it out. But she's loose and good to come now. I got everything out of the damn way finally. I even had to take the battery out. Uh, now I ain't got a single damn hex bit that'll fit down in there enough to get that bolt out. Really need something for a stripped Torx bit. That's a Torx. So it's being a pain in the ass, but get down in here. That's my problem right there. So I went to the parts store, got some uh, text bits, and none of these were right. So I guess I'm going to go back and get another set, try those. And if those don't work, then I ain't even sure what to do after that. I'm going to wrap it up today. Uh, I can't find a damn thing to get that bolt out of there. Went and bought some all kinds of different damn uh, uh, star bits and every damn thing else to see if I could get enough groove in there to get it out of there, but I had no luck. Welcome back to Hillbilly Garage. I am finally back with an update on this damn Ranger of mine, and I got a solution, I hope. I'm gonna hammer this damn thing into that piece of crap that's stripped, and we're gonna see if we can pull that bolt out of there. Get a sledgehammer work beat that right on in there I'm gonna give her a few hard taps and get her stuck good used a good old pop off my jack for some leverage on my socket and she's nice and loose and we're gonna get her out of there now this thing's been a pain in my ass look at that baby coming right on out as long as my damn All this stuff don't fall down on me and get in my way now. But she's coming out now. So excited and glad to get this piece of crap out of here finally. It's been such a pain in my ass. All right. My coat inside there is some PB blaster. I mean, look that corrosion all around there. Definitely tell it's been on there since 92. We're gonna clean all that crap up. Finally got her out of there. That thing was pretty stripped up. 
It was in there so tight. We got it broke loose today. So I just took and hammered one of these little star bit things in there and uh, used my breaker bar and we busted it loose. But I just had to get it hammered in there. So if you got a early 90s model Ford Ranger and your pulley ever, your tension pulley ever gets loose where it ain't staying tight and holding your belt and it has one of these dumbass bolts in it they're called torx bolts and they're a pain in the ass if they end up getting stripped because it's got a flat uh, face on it and it makes it just a pain in the ass you know but that's out of there now i'm gonna get me a new tension pulley and get that on there get the belt so the belt's tight and then i gotta hook all this crap back up and fix my lines i had to cut because they were so corroded but that ain't nothing i've done it before we'll do some uh, redneck rigging on these lines just so i can have a truck for a while and then i'll doctor everything back up the way it's supposed to be but until then i'm just gonna make it work so i'm just glad i got that damn thing off of there finally so, definitely the factory tension pulley. There's a forward stamp on it. And for some reason, it just wasn't staying tight. And as you can see, it looks kind of janky. And you're looking at it right here where the bolt went through. And I didn't mess nothing up trying to loosen it out of there or nothing because it's so tight. So I'm betting... Whatever's messed up right there is why my wheel wasn't, why I wasn't staying up there to keep my belt tight because something's messed up inside of here. But it's all good. Finally got the damn tension pulley out of my Ranger. So now I got to get a new one, throw it on there, and I'll be able to drive this sucker and put it back together. So this is the first part of this video. Watch for the second part to come up where we're putting everything back together and getting it on the road and... Hopefully, that's the last part I got to put on this damn Ranger. I've replaced so many things on it. And I want to hear, should have got a Chevy. You know, I've owned so many Chevys. And honestly, the better work truck is a Ford. And honestly, these Fords are a lot easier to work on. Uh, these older ones and stuff. I mean, old Chevys are too, don't get me wrong. But I'm more of a Ford guy when it comes to work. Because I don't give a damn who you are. I've owned more Chevy trucks than Ford trucks when it comes to work. And I've had so many problems out of Chevys. And uh, all the Fords are great for work trucks. If you want something to look pretty and go fast, get your ass a Chevy. If you want to be a working man, need something to pull something, get you a Ford. That's what I'm going to tell you because it's the damn truth. Anyway, hit the like and subscribe. I see a lot of people just uh, glancing on through here, I guess, seeing, watching videos and hardly any of my subscribers are watching. So come on, guys. Help us out. I've got a GoPro. I've gotten some camera stuff and everything else. I'm going to start rolling heavy in the new year, putting out some good videos, full work videos, um, trying to get better as I go. So don't give up on me just yet. Hit the like and subscribe uh, and follow new videos we put out. We'll see you next time.